we have seen a phenomenon called COVID toes. I'm like turning over here to see this. Way over there. <laughs> Way over there. Um, COVID toes. Yeah, it, that's for people diagnosed with COVID-19. We really didn't know much about it and how it was caused until now. Yeah, we have pictures that we're not going to show. Because <laughs> we're way like this. COVID, no, because we don't want to look at COVID Oh, we don't want to see them? Now, while the camera's okay. way over there, our nine health experts <laughs> way over here, Paolo Coley, the doctor, is joining us to give us some insight into the results of the new, the new study. So first, tell us what are COVID toes? So COVID toes, uh, and it can be COVID fingers as well, oh. are actually small, red, itchy, painful lesions that can occur usually on the digits, the fingers or the toes. The small blood vessels are affected. Now, if you're a little darker skin, they can also be brown brownish or purplish and it's actually can make it so painful that you can't wear your shoes or you can't walk. How long does this last? Well, it can last for weeks to months, Kim. And it's oh. basically, it's interesting, it's actually a phenomena that occurs usually after the infection. It's all this collateral oh. damage left back from the infection. So in the study that Tom just referred to, they had 50 patients. None of them were positive for COVID. So it's called COVID toes. Is that an inaccurate name? Well, it should be post COVID toes. And it can actually be caused by a number of other conditions as well. Really anything that activates the immune system. And that's what it is. It's activation of the immune system in response to the virus. Two different types of activation. One that actually causes the immune system to attack its own blood vessels mm. and cause little tiny clots in the blood vessels. And that's what's causing these lesions. Usually they go away on their own, but it can be weeks or months. And sometimes you need treatments to make them go away. Oh, so, so what can they do though? Well, there's not much they can do, but this is why the study is so helpful because okay. this actually helps you to sort of think about what sorts of treatments you might be able to you know, administer these people. The other thing that's interesting about this study is that the people who get COVID toes aren't the ones who get super sick from COVID. So in some ways, oh no, yeah, really? their immune system is almost more revved up. So we're seeing it a lot in children and teens because their immune system was so good at fighting the virus and it actually started attacking itself a little bit too. And that's how we're seeing COVID toes. The other thing we've seen over time is that you're not seeing a lot of COVID toes now because people are vaccinated. So that takes that edge off the immune system and perhaps something different about Delta as does well. It, does it tell us anything? I mean, it's unattractive. It's certainly uncomfortable for those yeah. people who have it. Does it say something about their immune system that, that we can learn from? It does. It does, Tom. And in fact, it can happen in those other conditions too. So if somebody has COVID toes, it may not be unreasonable to think about checking them for autoimmune conditions because their immune system does tend to be a little bit higher. Trouble down the line. Exactly. Yeah. Just another thing. I mean, we, you know, that sense of smell, we, you know, that young woman that we profiled I, almost a year ago, mm -hmm. that it took months and had to relearn how to smell things. Absolutely. And, and um, I wanted to add that you else. can have it actually even with cold weather exposure. So it's oh. not always a sign of illness. So sometimes you can see these little painful lesions. I don't want you to panic. Of course, go talk to your doctor. But it's essentially little blood vessels freaking out, spasming or having clots in them. So cold weather can trigger that. When you say cold weather, we think of our fingers and toes and that's mm -hmm. where the blood has the hardest time getting to and functioning and that is connected to this exactly right small little blood vessels also very superficial so close to the surface of our skin and that's why very sensitive to the temperature but also very sensitive to immune activation little tiny cells making tiny clots in there Okay, I learned a lot. And we didn't show. <laughs> and we didn't even show you. We didn't show the toes because when I, when I sent a picture out of, of this, I got a lot of email back with the, internally in the saying newsroom no. saying, yeah, we're not going to put that on TV. Yeah. But for the so, record, I was in favor of the pictures. Just to share. Just to share. Well, because for you. Because it's clinically, nice to see. Yeah. see it, Once you see it, it, you won't forget it. Yeah. Well, remember, Dr. Remember. Coley would have shown them to you. Thanks okay. as always. Because she's a doctor. They don't yeah. creep out on any of that stuff.